The conference is a unique, one of its kind, because we're the only uh, global organization that combines uh, educators, research, uh, medical research, policy makers, and parents into one conference. And it's interchangeable. Everybody has to know what the other is doing in order to uh, provide uh, treatments for autism, and that's our key goal. I believe that there are two main, uh, main paths, the way to treat them, to give them a better life, and of course the way to cure, to prevent, talking about both. Yeah, well, the, the word cure in the last few years has become like a non uh, kind of word because uh, many people feel that it's not a question of cure because autism is such a wide spectrum. It's a question of treatments to overcome it and be able to function in life. So we have, for example, starting now, I just spoke about it, workforce initiative that's combined practical workforce experience for children on the spectrum, some young adults, but starting early in life to find out what their skills are and to be able to build on that, to give them an opportunity to enter the workforce. So some of them will go to college, some of them will be in high tech, some of them will work in, in uh, shops and, and uh, in, in other kinds of places, gardening. And we have to give them that opportunity, and that's, that's our initiative, and it's going to start in the next few months, and it's going to become global, but it's starting here in Israel. So what's the, the main revolution, main thing that you want to change in people's mindset, to, that people should come out of your understanding better? Well, the, the fact is that I always like to say it's koach haratzon willpower. You cannot give up on our children, and especially children with autism. Everyone has a place in this world, and they can function if we put in the effort. And I, I like to use a, a four-letter word. It's called love. And uh, in Hebrew, ahava, it's also a four-letter word, and interchangeable. And if you utilize that with your child, or as a teacher, or as a, uh, anybody who, as, an, as a neighbor, that's 50% of helping the child. And the rest is up to others, but you can provide 50%. That's a major impact. What can you tell us about what brought you to found uh, this organization? Um, uh, about 20 years ago, I met a young mother who had two children, uh, and uh, she came over to me and said, there's no school for children with autism in New York. Uh, would I be willing to help? I w my experience is multi-experiences, both in education, in uh, social, social work, in business. And, uh, and I said yes, and that was famous last words. And uh, she got me hooked, and we started Schmackelainer Hero Voices in New York with three kids, and the rest is history. I've, since then, uh, Schmackelainer services over 1,000 kids in the city of New York and thousands over the, the last uh, 15 years. I found the Tishma in Israel in 2001. It's 11 years old, and we're, we have over 60 kids coming from all backgrounds. And in uh, 2004, I founded iCare, a global organization to provide the research, to collaborate, to bring people together from everywhere. We're apolitical, and that makes people from all walks of life want to do the same thing, to make autism better for them. Israel, in general, how do you see the way that people deal with autism here? Uh, Israel is a very high... Uh, level on uh, with researchers and others in, in autism and what we have to do is bring them together. One doesn't know of each other and in, in many times the same university in different departments. They're working on different and similar programs they don't know and that's part of iCare's job, collaborate.